Hi, I'm Sam Amolo. Today we're going to install B&W's companion fifth wheel hitch. This is really a neat hitch. It has features that no other hitch on the market has. And of course, we're going to start off by showing you how it comes packaged, how it comes shipped to you. There is some assembly on one of the units. And when I do that, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about this hitch. And I'll show you the features that no other hitch on the market has. First off, the packaging. It comes to you in two boxes. When you look at this box right here, Look at the way this is packaged. This way you get no damage in shipping. This is fully assembled. It's really a nice piece. And again, it's all powder coated, American made steel. It's nice. Got a big box down here, but the rest of the pieces, stick around while I go ahead and open this up and drag everything out to show you. All right, now we've got the two boxes. This is the base unit. In the smaller box, that was the coupler assembly, totally assembled. This only takes minor assembly. And you can see how well made this is. It's all American steel, it's got nice welds on it, it's powder coated. It's going to look good in the truck, but it's going to function well. Now we've got these uh, uprights here, these pivot arms. Okay, they're labeled A and B. This steel, but you can see they've got polyurethane bushings molded on there. This is where it absorbs some of the shock. There's no metal to metal. That's one of the problems with fifth wheels. They knock, they bang. Well, B&W has virtually eliminated that, and you'll see all the things that we have as we go ahead and put this together. Now you see these are, see there's lots of holes here. These are fully adjustable so you can tailor it up and down, forward and back, depending on your truck and your trailer's configuration. And you can see all the options in your instruction manual. Now, looking at this truck, it's a four by four, it's a one ton, it's way up high, and it's a short bed. So these are labeled, by the way, A and B. There's letters on them. You can swap them around. If you put them like this, you can see what that does. Positions this back, you buy another whole inch. So that's what we're going to use in this truck. And based on the height of the truck, we're going to use the top holes. We put some bolts in there on both sides. And you've got all high quality hardware. It's all grade eight. You've got lock washers. Bolt it up, follow the torque specs, and you'll be in great shape. All right, the next step according to the instructions, the U-bolts. You can see all this hardware, not only high quality, it's all plated. We're going to put these two U-bolts in. We're not going to tighten them up yet. And even the U-bolts uh, are supplied with these big flat washers and, if you look, nylock nuts. So when these things are tightened up, they're not going to go anywhere. Now we take our mounting post, and if you look at the mounting post, it's threaded, and you get a bolt here. So you want to turn this so it corresponds with that hole. Slide it up through. Now this is where a lot of people go wrong. They want to tighten everything up. We don't want to tighten this up yet. This is going to be tightened up to 40 foot-pounds once it's drawn against the latch pin. We want to have plenty of movement here. Now we'll pull these up a little bit just to stabilize it, but they're not going to be tight. We want this to be able to move up and down on the base unit until the base unit's in the truck and the mounting post is seated securely in the hitch. All right, here's what we start with. Look at this truck. Nothing in it, the bed's nice and flat. In less than an hour, I installed all of the substructure under the uh, bed. That's the hitch. It's a good rugged unit. It's all steel, all American steel, made in the USA, finished well. And with the attachments that are available from B&W, you got seven different hitches. What we're gonna install now is the base of the companion fifth wheel hitch. And there's a couple critical things, one is, where the mount post goes through that, there's one critical sound and one thing you got to see. I'll go ahead and grab this and put it in place and show you exactly what I'm talking about. Now once that happens, you're done here. You got to get out, engage your latch pin. Once the latch pin's engaged, following the instructions here, we'll torque this to 40 foot-pounds. That puts tension against there, makes it nice and tight and quiet. Then and only then will you tighten these U-bolts. If you tighten these up before you do that, it's not going to be right. It's all in the instructions. Let me just get out and do that latch pin. Now remember, when we're tightening this down to 40 foot-pounds, all during the torquing process, make sure your U-bolts are loose. If they bind up on you, you won't get the right torque. Now we've got 40 foot-pounds of torque, drawing our mounting bolt up. This is nice and secure. Now we can go ahead and torque these to 80 foot-pounds. Once the U-bolts are torqued to 80 foot-pounds, you're all done. All right, now, we've got our base unit all mounted. Remember, when you start mounting a base unit, 
you've got a big plastic bed liner or you've got a real thick spray-in bed liner, you have to compensate for that. So make sure you use your head. Towing is all about safety. Now look at these rugged uprights here. And again, these are molded polyurethane bushings over steel. They're not just sitting on here. They're molded on. And of course, what we want to do is we want to lubricate these because these things take the noise and clunking out of it. So that's one of the biggest complaints of fifth wheeling. It makes a lot of noise back there. And again, B&W has done a lot of stuff to virtually eliminate that. So before we put these on, because polyurethane sometimes will squeak. You don't need much, a little lithium, high grade lithium grease on these things, put it all over the top of it. Now, we're going to put our coupler head on. It's real simple. You've got a pair of handles here that we can lift it up with. Pick that up. We'll set it right on. There we go. Now these are not just handles. They're locks. When you've got it down and locked, they lock in place. Then you've got your safety pin that comes through there. That safety again prevents the lock from coming up. And to keep your safety pins in place, they pop in there. Just like that. That can't come out. This can't come out. You do the same thing on both sides. And guess what? You're secure. Now in addition to the normal pivot, on those polyurethane bushings, which is nice and quiet. This has a shock absorber, and it allows a tilt from side to side for seven degrees. So if you've got un uneven roads as you're driving along, that compensates, that also makes the ride in the truck a lot smoother, so you're a lot more comfortable. One of the big problems with fifth wheel is also unhooking your pin, okay? Well, we have a safety pin here. We pull that out. And if you see these jaws, these jaws are machined out of one and eighth inch steel. They grab your fifth wheel pin perfectly tight. Again, that eliminates the knocking and the banging. The cam lock operated. They open well with this big arm. It's effortless. You can usually reach it over the bed of the truck. And even in a tight spot, you pull into a campground, you're in a little bit of a bind. You've seen people out there with a cheap hitch that they got free with their trailer, beating on it, trying to unhook it. When you open that up like that, you can drive your trailer away even in a bind. It'll unlock. It's a nice setup. Okay, last thing we want to do. Once you're hooked up to a trailer, it says right here, lock with the safety pin. Don't tow before the hitch is locked with the safety pin. Something you need to tell your customer. It's all about safety. Now you've installed the safest fifth wheel hitch on the market. And this is 18,000 pound capacity. It looks good, works good and gets rid of all those annoyances that go along with fifth wheel trailering, knock, bang, all that kind of stuff, or a jam set of jaws. And so since it all comes out of the bed, leaves your bed wide open, beautiful truck like this needs to be more than a tow vehicle. So if you have a weekend, you tow your big fifth wheeler, and then during the week you want to haul sheetrock or whatever else, pull a couple of pins, you take your coupler head off, then you go down and you loosen this bolt right here, loosen up your U-bolts, Snatch your latch pin, you lift out the base, set it off, your truck is nice and clean. This is a great way to go. You can be proud to install this product for your customer. And again, it's a good rugging unit from B&W.